Backstab is a 1990 thriller directed by Jim Kaufman and starring James Brolin, Dorothy Merriman, Meg Foster, June Chadwick, and Isabel Trushan. Is this in black and white and slow motion? I think I can break these with my mind. We go back in time to a takeover at Cliff's employer. Our message is simple. Don't worry. We do not intend to take your fine company and turn it upside down. Translation, you're all fucked. Polish up those resumes, people. We get a little insight about a dead wife and Cliff is manipulated into going to an after work activity. I'm sorry, too, and as official act as your boss, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you. <laughs> You're all getting fired. Look at this fucking guy. The woman comes over and asks Cliff to dance in a classic get that fuck away from me move. Let's all watch. They barge into the kitchen and then they go to a car and get it on. Watching alley sex is one of the perks of this job. They have a meet cute, which usually comes before the porking, but not in this film. The next day, Juliet gets Snoopy, and Cliff gets a call. I was wondering if you'd like to get together again. Maybe meet me for a drink? Yeah. They get together that night, but nope, we're fucking leaving. You're following too close. They get to Caroline's place and proceed to get it on. Oh, uh, gonna catch a few C's. Did she just ditch his ass? Cliff searches the house and oh, that doesn't look good. Uh. <sighs> Holy shit! Hey, it's my new boss. I guess he got himself downsized. That's really fast. I'm out of here. They'll never know I was here. Hendrix requesting make on plate TBC 047. Shit. Cliff goes to Juliet's. I need something to wear. You know, a shirt. You got a shirt? Or anything? Well, I have this blouse. Here, I'm going to destroy this evidence. Or maybe it's a baked Alaska. Who fucking knows? He calls a lawyer friend, Sarah, who says, turn your ass into the cops. Sarah, I'm not sure you understand. This woman that I was, that I had this affair with could be Chambers' wife. Who cares? Cover your ass. Cliff turns himself in. We believe that Mr. Murphy may be wanted for questioning in connection with the murder of Arthur Chambers. I think he's wanted for a lot more than that. That's not a good sign. Then we get a booking montage. Time for court. We have an abundance of evidence which clearly shows that Mr. Murphy was having an affair with Mr. Chambers' wife and that this brutal slaying was a premeditated act by a jealous and desperate man who knew he was about to be fired by his victim. I knew he was getting canned. Better get some cartons of smokes, buddy. We get to the trial. Mrs. Carolyn Chambers. Uh, excuse me, Your Honor. Sit down. Be seated, Mr. Murphy. I did not know this woman. Be seated, Mr. Murphy, or you will be removed from this courtroom. Looks like Cliff got catfished. Cliff and I were lovers. That's a lie! Order! Order! I don't know you. What the hell are you doing? Who are you? Who are you? Well, and it quickly. I'm Sarah Rudnick, Clifford Murphy's attorney. Oh, hello. Please sit down. Thank you. I'd like to ask you a few questions, Mrs. Powell. Should you have done that before the trial started? Cliff is cross-examined. Your Honor, I would like to enter into evidence Mrs. Chambers' round-trip tickets to Niagara Falls for that same weekend, 
and a receipt for her reservation at the Landmark Hotel Suite 1005, which has a connecting door to the corner suite, which Mr. Murphy claims to have stayed in. Da da da! Mr. Murphy's attorney, Sarah Rudnick, seemed to be taken by surprise by Carolyn Chambers' testimony. God damn you. This is a joke. This movie's a joke. Santa, Emmy. It's plea deal time. You ever have deja vu? Hey, she's the chick on the bus. But Sarah is not buying it. Not to give up this ridiculous pretense. Yes, I slept with Carolyn Chambers. No, not really. It wasn't the real Mrs. Chambers. And now, now you're telling me some story about some woman on top of a bus. No, she was on the side. Try to keep up, please. Cliff realizes he's fucked and pulls off the dumbest jailbreak in cinematic history. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Myers, Stanley T. Batch number 377. Go ahead, Sergeant Myers. Hey, uh, what's the deal on Clifford Murphy's release? His attorney's here with a bail order, and I don't have a fax on it yet. That's it? That fucking worked. Okay. He tracks down the bus ad and gets an address, then goes to see if maybe he can get some ass for old time's sake. Hi! Who the hell are you? I'm, uh, I'm nobody. Just a struggling actress, that's all. Yeah, you're in this movie. It's not what you think. And somebody hired you to, to sleep with me. They just told me I had to get you to that house. I didn't have to sleep with you. I wanted to. That's sweet. Where the hell did you get this? It came in the mail just like that, from the escort service. They said to go to Loretta's Bistro and find the man in the picture. Whoever's cut out of that photo has a hand in this shit! Look, somebody has to get down to the damn escort service and find out who hired you. I'll do it. You can trust me. She's going to die. There was a slight mix-up at the county jail today, and Clifford Murphy slipped out of our custody. I bet her bath water just turned yellow. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy that crap. I want that loose end we talked about tied up. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yep, the struggling actress is fucked. The next day... She's dead, Jim. Brolin. Cliff decides it's time to get the fuck out of Dodge and goes to see Juliet. Oh shit, the missing piece. Juliet pulls her own piece and here's an exposition dump. Kenneth Updike. Arthur Chambers' attorney, he and I are partners. Lovers. For a third of the estate, Ken offered to help. No, no. No, I'm asking you why you did it. Because he asked me to. Simp. There's some typical early 1990s office hijinks, and they're on their way. Get the fuck out. You can walk to the end of the movie. There's more roaming a house, and then a fight. Shoot him! Shoot him! Holy shit! I think you missed. Juliet shows up for the worst cat fight in cinematic history, being shot in the process. And Caroline goes out and throws Cliff under the bus. She killed Arthur Chambers. And Ken helped her. She's lying. She's lying. Death floor confession for the win. Backstab is low rent Hitchcock at its worst. It's a wrong man set up for a crime he didn't commit. The plot makes a little sense, but I'm like, okay, it's an erotic thriller, it doesn't really have to. But once they're done polishing the floor at the dead guy's house, that's it. Dolesville. And why did they create such an intricate fucking plot to kill the husband? You know what would have been much easier with a fraction of the people involved? 
Whoops, he died in a fucking house fire. The end. Give me my money. No middle management setting up a guy you're going to fire. No struggling actress. Just a charred corpse in a house that you're going to get a big fat insurance check for. Overall, the film is barely manageable and predictable as hell. And really isn't worth the time it takes to watch it. I was wondering if you could come by and check my renovation. Yeah, 